Everybody hates cleaning the toilet. If you're looking for an alternative that makes toilet cleaning effortless and scrub-free, then you're in the right place. In today's video, I'll show you how to make toilet cleaning bombs with just three ingredients in a matter of minutes. To make the toilet bombs, here's a bake-free recipe that anyone can make at home with just three simple and inexpensive ingredients. The cost is a matter of a few cents, which is so much cheaper compared to commercial store-bought toilet cleaners. It's also very easy to make. You're going to need two cups of baking soda, half cup of citric acid, one tablespoon of Dawn dish soap, or any other dish soap will do. The equipment you'll need is an ice cube tray, mixing bowl, airtight jar or food container, sticker label, and a mixing spoon. Next, follow these steps. Add two cups of baking soda into the mixing bowl. Add half a cup of citric acid. Add one tablespoon of Dawn dish soap. Mix everything together with a whisk or a spoon. Scoop the mixture and add it into your ice tray. Press down on the mixture so that it's compact and wipe away any excess. Depending on how much dish soap you've added and where you dry them, the drying time will vary. It's best to leave them somewhere hot and sunny to ensure that it dries completely and quickly. It's normal for these cleaning bombs to expand, so the more dish soap you add, the more it expands. So avoid filling your ice cube tray to the top and leave some space for expansion. Once dried, remove the bombs from the ice cube tray and store them inside an airtight container or mason jar to prevent moisture from entering. To use, simply toss one cube into your toilet bowl and watch as it fizzes and does all the cleaning work for you. This is a hands-free way to effectively clean your toilet bowl and remove unsightly toilet bowl rings. The bombs can last up to four months and longer if you dry them completely and store them inside an airtight container. If you wish, you can add a couple of drops of essential oil when mixing the ingredients together. We've left out essential oils in this recipe to keep it as simple as possible, but if you have a bottle of lavender essential oil, it's a good idea to add it in. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy our next video on how to clean a toilet using baking soda and vinegar. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.